Hello friends, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Pangolin. It's going to be quick, it's going to be easy, the instructions are very clear, very simple. So first things first, we need a IP that can point somewhere, so a, um, a domain name. So go to your favorite prov provider, you know I have Ionos, a lot of people like Namecheap, we're going to use Ionos. Uh, you're going to go to the DNS records, and then you want to add an A record. So A record here. Uh, I use Cloudflare, and that is for me personally. Um, I just, that that's sort of for, you know, using the DNS of Cloudflare services and stuff. I like it a lot. But let's say you, you have stuff set up on Cloudflare, so... So go to Cloudflare, you know, DNS, after you've added a domain in the main dashboard, add the A record, uh, and then point the point it towards your server. It's the same thing in the A record. You'll do at, and then the server IP of the VPS you bought. So the reason we need to do this is because when we're setting up Pangolin, it asks for a domain, and it asks for a subdomain for where Pangolin will be. Uh, I believe that is optional, but um, that's fine. We're just going to go by the, the, um, the actual stuff. Make sure these ports are open. Uh, very simple, just ping them. Um, so first things first, we are going to copy this command here. We're going to log in to our VPS using, you know, you can use Putty, you can use VS Code. We are going to make a directory uh, called Pangolin. I'm going to go into it. We are then, after we are in this folder, we will run that command. Okay, that's done. Now let's make sure we have our installer. Nice, it's here. So then we will run the installer. <laughs> now, base domain. So, agv.co.uk. Now, if you don't think it's working, you will need to simply just ping your domain to make sure it's pointing to the correct IP. So you see it's the same IP as the server. Okay. So that's fine. So it's, yeah, that's fine. And then the pangolin dashboard will be, yeah, pangolin.ahzv.co.uk. Uh, let's just say we want to use, uh, <laughs> Use any Gmail you want. Uh, gerbil, by default, it's yes. So press enter. Admin, user email, let's say. Uh, admin user password, let's say. Into your password. Uh, yep, sign up for that invite. Yes, I want to disable that. Users from creating organizations. Uh, disable users. Yes. Uh, now, you can set the email stuff up, but for the tutorial, um, we, could, we can do it later. That's basically, we can do that later. And then it wants to start the container, so we just press yes, you know. So, you know, you've installed Docker on your machine and, um, yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much it. So just let that run, go into our browser. Uh, who would like to install CrowdSec? Um, we're not using that, so uh, there you go, it's done. And now we should be able to uh, just enter our domain and we'll be greeted with the dashboard. So the email, and then we do, oh, there you go, and you are done. Now, let's 
let's uh just you know create the org let's call it a uh tutorials great organization that's fine oh let's full screen it new tunnel yep site information this is going to be set up locally so i will make another video or maybe have another part of uh, installing onto another machine to tunnel resources out you know you want to tunnel software off of another machine but right now we're going to say this is our um, main server okay you know this is so we can expose stuff on the machine that we are currently using you know let's say you download stuff and you want to uh, uh, show it safely so that's pretty much it on the actual setup. That's, you know, it under five minutes. And you're just essentially ready to rock, ready to go, ready to do everything. So I hope you found the video helpful. I hope you found it useful. How you, you know, really hope you, you know, if you like it, just drop a subscribe. Okay. Bye-bye.